We finally got him back, but now it's time to see more of Jamison Williams. Hello, everyone. My name is Derek, and welcome to Detroit Lions Syndicate. If you are new to this channel, we talk all things about the Detroit Lions. So subscribe. Help us get to 7,000 by the end of the NFL season. Rookie wide receiver Jamison Williams got his first taste of action coming against the Jacksonville Jaguars. And it came out yesterday that the plan all along when they drafted Jamison was to have him get his first action really against the Minnesota Vikings. But maybe he was ahead of schedule and they wanted to get him out there. Now, we've talked at length about Jamison Williams and the impact that he would make down the stretch if the Detroit Lions were playing meaningful football in December. And while he did get a target in Sunday's game against the Jacksonville Jaguars, he was unable to connect. And it even came out that Dan Campbell was considering putting him on the gunner team, the punt team, but the Lions did not punt once. I'm sure every Lions fan would have held their collective breath. Now me, I don't have a problem with this. Jamison Williams, I said this in, in a video on Syndicate Sports Detroit, Jamison Williams is a football player. That's what he does. He did it in college. He might do it in the NFL. He also returned punts in the college in, at the college level. So if that's what they want him to do, if he wants him to do it, I think let the man do it. He's a football player. You can't put him in bubble wrap. You got to let him get out there, get his legs under him, and get some, some action. He didn't get hurt punt returning or gunning. He got hurt receiving the football. So we got to stop worrying about injuries because I tell you what, if Jamison was doing this, he probably would be more likely to be hurt. But the Detroit Lions have a huge game against the Minnesota Vikings coming up this Sunday for potentially the division if Minnesota can get that win. And Jamison Williams will probably see more action according to to Dan Campbell. Out of the eight snaps that Jamison Williams played, two were in victory formation, two were pass attempts, and he had the one target. I did see him blocking on, uh, I want to say it was a DeAndre Swift run, so he only got eight plays. And while that doesn't seem like a ton, that's exactly what Dan Campbell was looking for. This article comes from Pride of Detroit. I will link the article in the description. That was the whole point, honestly. Campbell said on 97 won a ticket on Tuesday morning. I have no preconceived notions of what it was going to be or what it was going to look like. We just wanted to get him out there. We wanted him to go through a pregame warm-up. Go fight with somebody a little bit. Go run a route. See if you can connect. Go block somebody and just be in it. Be part of it. Moving forward, it'll be okay. We'll get him a little more involved now, Campbell said. So we have some things for him. He'll play more than he did last week. But there again, let's slowly start to implement him into what we're doing. And let's see how he handles everything. And it came out during the pregame show that the Detroit Lions were going to use Jameson Williams as a gunner and like i said earlier the detroit lions fan base was going to collectively hold their breath but we cannot baby jamison williams and i think dan campbell had every intent to use jamison williams as a gunner we've brad holmes talked about it when he drafted him about the the, the targeting play and the special teams play that jamison williams makes but are we likely to see jamison williams as a gunner against the minnesota vikings i don't know maybe that's all he does maybe he's just a gunner campbell joked have you ever seen his gunner reps? Check them out. But no, we'll see. Look, I'll tell you this. He's a football player and he's tough and he's competitive. He's not worried about breaking nails. So he just wants to play. He's going to get more reps on the offense and we'll take him where he can go. So expect to see more Jamison Williams on Sunday against the Minnesota Vikings. It's a big game. We're going to need all hands on deck, as Dan said in his press conference yesterday, because the Minnesota Vikings, although they might be a tad overrated, they are still 10 and 2, and they find ways to win football games. So we're going to need all the help we can get. So wherever Jamison Williams can go, expect him to go. How many snaps will he get? How many snaps will he get on special teams? We don't know. But look for more targets, in my opinion. And his first catch will come against the Minnesota Vikings. How cool would that be to see him get his first touchdown in the NFL? My name is Derek. This is Detroit Lions Syndicate. Be sure to comment, subscribe, and like the video. And also, let me know your thoughts on Jamison Williams. Are you upset? Would you be mad if he plays Gunner? For me, not so much. He did it in college. He's a football player. He's going to play football it, whatever way possible. We can't protect him and wrap him in bubble wrap. So let me know what you think down below. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself. And as always, Go Lions.